offensive lineman of the week in the SEC. I know that was a dominating performance against South Carolina. How much of an honor is it to receive that award? No, it's a huge honor. And uh, honestly, it's a huge honor because it, it shows how good we are as an offensive line. You know, Bunchy's gotten it twice, and then I got it. So, you know, it's a huge honor. And, uh, you know, I hope we keep getting it. I hope striving. hope we keep striving for that. And uh, just we got to just keep playing our ball. Texas A&M, you know, obviously is a very rowdy crowd, just like Florida. Um, what do you anticipate? And did the crowd noise today kind of help simulate that? Um, I mean, obviously they're going to use that to their advantage. You know, we uh, we just got to play our ball, stay focused, um, just be disciplined, and then I feel like we'll be all right. As an offensive line unit, how much more difficult is it, you know, to communicate on the road? Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a lot more difficult just because of the noise, but. After you get in the groove and the, and the stadium's quiet, then it's not that bad. How nice is it making you know deafening silence on the road? How much uh, do you look forward to that? Is the oh yeah, I, I love that. I honestly love it. Uh, you know that's something we take pride in too, as offense, just shutting the crowd up, and uh, you know that's that's what we gotta. That's why we're preparing. We're trying to do that this weekend. So. Have you veteran guys done anything with uh, Darian to kind of get him up to speed? And yeah, I mean, we do. We we work extra film sessions, and uh, we've. I mean, all since camp, we've been doing extra drills after practice too. And uh, he's picked up on the stuff pretty good too. So he's doing well. How ready do you feel like he is to take on uh, that role, kind of that EJ's had over the last few weeks? Mm, I mean, he's he's ready. I believe in all our guys. I mean, he has, he definitely has the ability to block anyone. So. I feel like he'll be good. What did you see in the, the second half film against South Carolina? Mm, I mean, you know, they made some adjustments that forced us to, you know, work out to the wildest people, but it wasn't always that case. They weren't always blitzing those wide people. So it was basically they were just reading Terry. And then, you know, we just need to do a better job as an offensive line, noticing that and then changing that up when we're in there. Is it tough for you guys when a game kind of gets chippy like that where you maybe have to watch yourself a little bit closer so you don't draw one of those personal foul flags? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it definitely is because your emotions are up. And, you know, like, you're trying to get in his head. He, I mean, I feel like us, we don't really care what people say to us. We just, we're trying to play our ball. We're trying to protect Benny and uh, Terry. So, you know, it does get chippy a lot because, obviously, it's an SEC ball. Everyone's trying to play you know, aggressive and, uh, you know, they're teeing off on our guys and we're off, we're the offensive line. We don't like that. So obviously we're going to talk. We're going to, you know, mm -hmm. push the shove a little bit. But this is a game of football. You feel like you're going to be a cop every once in a while as far as you guys just kind of, kind of keep, you know, keep each other in check, so to speak. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel like we all get into those little altercations, but we, we all make sure, like, to chill out, you know, that it doesn't take it to the next level. So we, we do a good job of that. Have you been rotating over to the left side at all? Do you have? Did you get some reps over there? No, no. no you're, you're, you're staying on the right. Okay. All right, folks. Thank you.